Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hey we are now presenting how to diagnose vaginal discharge. Number 1 Understand the function of vaginal discharge. The vagina has a specialized lining, which contains glands that excrete small amounts of fluid every day. The purpose of regular, daily vaginal discharge is to collect old, sloughed cells and possible pathogens or foreign bodies, and to expel them from the vagina. In addition, this discharge encourages a healthy balance of bacteria and yeast which protects against infection. Number 2 Understand what normal vaginal discharge looks like. Normal vaginal discharge is usually clear or milky white and may have a mild, if any, odor. It can be watery or thick and mucus white, but the consistency should be relatively smooth and lump free most of the time. Number 3 Know the normal reasons your discharge may change. There are a number of reasons that your vaginal discharge may look, smell or appear slightly different. If you're concerned about your discharge, run through this quick checklist to see if you are experiencing or have recently experienced any of the following conditions. These are the most common, but completely normal, reasons your discharge may change. Number 4 Don't worry about cleaning out your normal discharge. Your discharge is your body's natural way of protecting itself. Douching is advisable only on rare occasions. If you don't like the feeling of wetness on your underwear and clothing, consider wearing a panty liner in your underwear. These can be purchased at grocery stores, drug stores, and pharmacies, and convenience stores. You can also make your own panty liners out of fabrics you have around the house, or bought from a craft store, if you want a cheaper and more natural solution. Number 5 Examine the color and texture of your vaginal discharge. If it looks different from the vaginal discharge you usually secrete, then there is a chance that it is abnormal and a symptom of an infection or change in the vaginal environment. A good rule of thumb is that if the discharge isn't clear or white, then you may have a problem. Number 6 Evaluate the vaginal discharge. Having examined the discharge, now assess which of the conditions that can cause abnormal discharge may apply to you. If your discharge does not fall in the normal range of colors and textures, it may be a result of one of the following. Bacterial vaginosis, this is the most common cause of abnormal discharge in women of childbearing age. Bacterial vaginosis is a mild vaginal infection caused by bad bacteria. Essentially there are good and bad types of bacteria and the good types help to regulate the growth of the bad types. Number 7 Consider other causes of abnormal discharge. There are a lot of things that can affect the vaginal environment. Exposing the vagina to a new type of cleaning agent or hygiene product can have an effect on it. Chemicals found in detergents and fabric softeners, feminine sprays, creams, douches, and contraceptive foams or jellies or creams may irritate the vagina and slash or the skin around the vagina. Medications, such as antibiotics, can also increase the possibility of infection. Number 8 Consult your physician. If after self-examination, you believe your discharge is abnormal, visit your doctor. Though it's useful to pay attention to your body and its many changes, don't rely on your own diagnosis as confirmation of particular condition. Let your healthcare provider examine you, run any necessary tests, and decide on a course of action or treatment. Number 9 Make an appointment with your physician. You should try to see your doctor as soon as you notice or suspect that your vaginal discharge is abnormal. Be prepared to describe the color, consistency, and frequency of the discharge. Number 10 Let the doctor know of any conditions or actions that may be relevant. For example, if you think you may be pregnant or recently had unprotected sex, i.e., sex without a condom, you should let your doctor know. Number 11 Have a physical examination including a pelvic exam 20 depending on your symptoms, your doctor may elect to do a partial pelvic exam or a full exam. A full exam includes an external and internal examination of the female pelvic organs. The external exam your healthcare provider will examine the opening of your vagina and the folds of your vulva. In particular, 
your doctor is looking for abnormal discharge, cysts, genital warts, irritation, or other conditions. Number 12 Have your samples sent to a lab for testing. After the exam, your doctor will send all cultures and samples to the laboratory for testing. The most important test for samples of vaginal discharge is microscopic examination, or a wet prep test. In a wet prep test, a technician will mix the sample of vaginal discharge with saline and take a drop of this mixture and put it on a slide to examine. This is usually done in the doctor's office, so results are available immediately. Number 13 Wait for your test results. Make sure to find out when you should expect results from these tests so you can meet again with your doctor to develop a treatment plan if needed. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.